guys, it's Spirit, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now, in the last episode, in the last five parts of this game, I defeated the Neon level. I defeated all of these on normal, and then I defeated the Neon levels. Thus, I have access to the Neon Army, the oh-so-etheran energy-wielding force that they are. And now, in this follow-up to the, uh follow up to all of these levels, I'm going to be replaying them with neon stuff. So, I don't know how many of these I'm going to get through, because I'd imagine I'm just going to blitz through these really quickly with neon stuff, because it is overpowered, but that's why we love it. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the neon, um, redo the neon levels with neon stuff against them, but let's get to it. Let's see. Again, I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to beat these, so, I might just end up doing all of it in one episode, depending how fast I can cut these guys down, because I'm expecting this to go extremely quick. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Just tear them apart. My gosh. By the light of heaven, Neon is overpowered. All right. So, let's do that again. Like I said, I think... I think I'm gonna be able to just ace these levels what uh, first shot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yes. I... I can't even think of anything to say in response to that. That's just absurd. Can it- can it be done again? Can I- can I do that again? I wanna do that again. My goodness, just like... It's like bringing a knife to a laser gun fight. It's like something out of Independence Day. Alright, can they do it? Can they get close enough? Oh, they're doing it! Finally, we found something that can kind. Nope, nope, they can't. They can't stand up to the... Projectile shields are the best unit in the game. My gosh. I mean, best non... Best non, uh, 10,000 apiece super unit, but like... Okay, let's let's make this a bit of a challenge for ourselves. Let's not use the projectile shield unless we have no other choice. So let me see what have we got here. We've got a whole bunch of spearmen. Uh, I think I'm gonna put down one gravity dude, one gravity dude right up front, right up front, and then whole bunch of energy swordsmen. Let's see. They they have the advantage in terms of numbers. But we have the advantage in terms of firepower. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I, I think, I think they're gonna win it. I think they're gonna win it. All right, all right. So, let's see what we can do here. I want to use mostly neon stuff just for the sake of uh, being thematic. So, uh, let me see. I'm going to put down an even spread of these guys, the energy pistoliers behind my guys up front. Let's see how we do. The Jedi are charging into battle. The clone army is behind them. They are going to get cut to pieces. Here we go. Here we go. This is... You, you have to admit, all of the theories about uh, aliens being the uh, ancient people's gods, I mean... I'm not sure how many of those theories I subscribe to in real life, but you gotta admit, if aliens did show up to people of this tech level, they would definitely appear like gods. They would be godlike. Because, I mean, when you've got technology like this, I mean, just these Tesla guys in particular, they're wielding lightning. I mean, I'm pretty sure every religion, every mythology at least, across history, has had at least one deity that was like a god of lightning, or a storm deity or something. Yes, yes, but seriously, catapults OP. Well, I guess I did, I did use catapults to uh, defeat them in the last levels, but anyway, let us try and get ah do i want to do that those are, those are really expensive for what they're capable of doing 
I'm gonna put four on the back and see how they do, just to try this out. I'm trying to make it a little more interesting so these levels aren't just a steamroll, because I can steamroll these guys with neon stuff. But, oh my gosh. Unleash the power of the Aether. Uh, you just got... Uh, you just got obliterated. One by one, catapults are actually providing a bit of a challenge here. I was rather unexpected. These The musket guys are very powerful, but they can only do so much in small numbers. Let me see. Mm, do we want to break out the projectile shields again? I don't think they're going to be very good against these guys, actually. Because I had to use... If memory serves, I had to use watches to beat these things uh, before, because these guys cannot withstand... Uh, you know what? You know what? Energy Sword Master flanked by a bunch of beamers. Alright, there we go, there we go. Let's see how this does. Yeah, I had to use watches to beat this level um, on normal, because... Okay. <laughs> okay. I might go for, like, just multiple energy sword masters next time. But yeah, I had to use watches to beat these last time because they just can... They can just obliterate anything. I mean, the catapults are so OP. They can just... I take it back. I think the catapult is the best thing in the game. Alright, now sticking to mostly neon stuff, what can I do here? How many of those? I can get two Energy Sword Masters. I think I'm going to put them mostly near the front, just so they can they can run in and destroy everything. And then I'm going to put I'm going to put most of my stuff up close to the front, so they can run in and trash the enemy before the opponent really has a chance to fire off their uh, catapults. So we're going to get some good shots off before. The enemy gets their catapult shots off. I don't know if we have the numbers. I don't know if we have the numbers for this kind of strategy. I know these energy sword masters are obscenely powerful. Like, they have a ton of health. But, alright, we've, we've cut through the peasants. We've cut through the peasants. Are we going to be able to withstand the rock slide? We are invading the Earth Kingdom from Avatar, and they are throwing boulders at us. Is our Aetherian energy swords going to cut it? Can we cut it? Can we cut that? Oh, we got one. We got one. Are we going to be able to do this? I don't know. I'm not that confident. Nope. Nope. We can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. I really think this level is basically unbeatable without uh, heavy artillery of your own. I wonder if the box guns can take out um, the catapults. They're not that good, but maybe, maybe. I have 600 left, so I'm just gonna put a line of beamers right in their face. Just see what we can do. Unleash the cannons! Can the cannon take that thing out? Yes, it can, it can indeed. Now these guys are gonna be cannon fodder to take out all of those. Alright, we got one. We got two. We got two of these things. Now we just need somebody to get a lucky shot on this catapult. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be complete trash. Take your shot! Take the shot! Take the shot! Oh, no. Oh, no. What are you doing? What are you doing? This cannon... This box gun just died to its own stupidity. I'm redoing that. I'm redoing that. That that one lost. That one died to its own stupidity. That shouldn't. That's that doesn't count. All right. Okay. We didn't get to take out any with the initial volley this time. Okay. We didn't get to take out any with the initial volley. Can we? All right. There's one down. There's two down. And now I think we have the numbers this time. The beamers were able to cut through all the peasants. Yes, take them down. That's how it's done. All right, so we are moving on to the desert. Let me see, how long did that take? That took a solid 10 minutes. 
Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go through like two of these uh, levels in each of these uh, follow-up episodes. Let me see. I have 1,500 money. I can get three projectile shields. I know I said I wasn't gonna rely on these too heavily just to make it interesting, but uh, I want to see... Oh my gosh. All of these guys airdropped in with no parachutes. That is not an effective military tactic. Oh, they're gonna... They're gonna overwhelm them. Superior numbers. The hordes are coming. Oh no. Yep, this where that is an ideal position for this beamer. For this uh, projectile shield right behind that obelisk. Because it can shoot over the top. Obviously it didn't help it win, but that is a very ideal position. Alright, I'm gonna save the projectile shields for when um for when I actually need them. Like need need them. I'm gonna put down a couple of you guys. And I can't get much else. Hopefully these cannons will be able to uh, plow through most of the mass. They seem to do really well against huge groups. Like so. Like so. They seem to do really well against huge groups. So hopefully... Nope, 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 nope. They're getting close. They're getting way too close. Oh, yes. Deploy. It didn't, it didn't fire off in time to protect it from the thing. But anyway, we've got one cannon left. They managed to overwhelm the... Oh, he's done. He's done. He's so done. This is harder than I expected it to be. The, the neon stuff is really good, but it's really, really expensive. So, I wonder if... Single energy sword master and a whole bunch of beamers. It's really expensive, so it's not actually. It's not a steamroll. Because wait a second. There we go. Okay. It's not a steamroll because they. What are you doing? What are you doing? Is that is that what they taught you at the uh, the Jedi Temple? Is that what they taught you? Alright, I don't know why I put those... Wait a second. I was trying to put down beamers, not energy swordsmen. But, uh, they're diving off the obelisks. They're actually kind of making it work. I didn't... I didn't, uh, order these units, but I'm not gonna return them, because that was actually way more spectacular than I thought it was gonna be. Alright, we've got these guys. It's time to break out... My favorite unit in the game, the projectile shield, right here. And then I'm gonna put... I'm gonna be tactical about this. I'm gonna put you and two... Ah, uh, not over there. I'm gonna put you and two energy swordsmen. And then I have 500 left. I'm gonna put down... What can I put down for 500? I can put down another projectile shield to maybe mow through them, but... I don't actually know. Oh, that's why I took up all my money last time. I was putting down energy swords instead of energy pistols. But anyway, uh, I am going to put down a handful of you. There is a secret on this map. If you put a unit, like, right here, it will dive into this pyramid and unleash one of the ten plagues of Egypt upon your opponents. So, uh, that might be... Might be something pretty fun to test out once we, if we can't beat one of these levels in the future, that might be an ace in the hole for us. Alright, the projectile shield is doing its job. They're cutting down those guys. That was too easy. That was just a steamroll. Alright. Okay, we've got a firing squad here. I want to see if the projectile shields can take down the musket bullets. I assume they can, but I am not entirely sure if they're going to be able to... Because they have to shoot down one projectile at a time. If they all fire at once, they might be able... Oh, they're doing it! These things are invincible against any kind of uh, unit-based projectile, except for, like, siege artillery. Oh, what are you... What are you doing? All right, we won, no thanks to this guy. All right. So we've got cannons, which, as said, the cannons are large artillery. They can cut through the uh, projectile shield's defenses. 
I think it's time. I think it's time. Now, I was gonna use mostly, um, mostly neon stuff, but for this, I am going to deploy a peasant right about here. And his path will take him, hopefully, I'm gonna reposition him right about there. Hopefully his path will take him directly into the mouth of the abyss here to win the favor of the gods. And then all we need afterward is enough firepower, enough health to withstand the test of time. All right, 60, 600. That is an abrupt shift in health for only 10, 20 more point. It goes from 60 health to 100, to 600 health. There we go. Oh, wow. Gravity Dude has that much health. Well, I guess he's a suicide unit, so it, it makes sense. But in any case... 6,000 health. These guys have 6,000 health apiece. All right, that makes sense. But without further ado, let us put down a bunch of, a uh, bunch more of the energy swordsmen. I need HP is what I need, because if all goes well, this guy is going to sacrifice himself to the gods, and something very spectacular is going to happen. All right, there he goes into the pyramid. Oh, we have awakened Apophis. The... The plague of locusts is overtaking us. It's it's focus firing my guys. Focus firing my dude. All right, all right. Come on, come on, take him out. Take him out. There we go. See, that's why I needed a ton of stuff with super high HP to withstand all of that. All right. So these guys are pain, and this guy over here. This guy over here is a pain. Looks like you've been, uh, looks like you've been praying to some gods, but I'm not sure if they're, uh, proper ones. They seem to, uh, seem to be taking your chiropractic health as a sacrifice. Alright, so, uh, I'm going to put down a couple of projectile shields. Well, I'm gonna put down probably a projectile shield, a couple of... I can't put down more than one energy sword mask, but I'm gonna put down an energy sword guy. And then a whole bunch of these guys. A whole bunch of that. I might take off a couple and replace them with pistol beam dudes in the back. That looks like a respectable formation. And hopefully this thing will both cut through the infantry. Hopefully it'll survive long enough to cut through the infantry and take out the chickens. Because apparently those count as projectiles. But only when my projectile shield is up. So we might have to rethink our strategy here. Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. I have the perfect plan in mind. I'm gonna keep my range. And I'm gonna go for... Can these guys shoot each other? Or do they shoot through each other? I'm gonna test out this theory by putting them in. Bunch of ranks. There we go. Do they shoot each other, like the archers? So they start firing, it will be apparent. Nope, they don't seem to collateral each other. Huh, that's very nice. Yes, unleash, unleash the clone army. The attack of the clones has come, your chickens are invalid. Oh no, oh no, we have to contest. We have to contest with the heaviest of heavy artillery. Can they do it? Do we have the numbers? I'm. Yes! I am feeling very confident there. Alright, we're on to the snow levels, and let me see here. I think I'm gonna call it an episode and take on this and the uh, Japanese realm in the next episode. So, thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, then please do subscribe. And make sure to follow me on social media so you never miss an update. Until next time, I'm Spirit, and I will see you all later.